Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and friends I hope everyone is fine with the blessing of almighty Allah so without any delay let's start today's video the question for was that why is Allah allowing the unjust Israeli forces to kill thousands of Palestinians hmm. for the last seven weeks and why does Allah not give the Palestinians victory and what should Muslims do and we know that since the 7th of October 2023 this war has started yes between the Palestinians and Israel and in the last seven weeks from 7th of October till today more than 15,000 Palestinians have been killed and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the greatest Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter number two verse number 26 subhanallah. that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not lay a burden more than what a person mm, can bear. Exactly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a promise in the Quran that on no human being does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lay a burden more than he can bear. And as you go ahead in the verse, that's the last verse of Surah Baqarah, exactly. it says that we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, lay not on us a burden greater than we can bear. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, when Allah has given a promise that he will not lay a burden greater than any on any human being more than what he can bear, yeah. then why are we praying to Allah? that lay not on us a burden greater than we can bear. Many a times the human being themselves put themselves in a position where they let the burden come on them. So they are to blame, they dig their own grave. So yeah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises that he will not put on anyone a burden greater than he can bear. Hmm. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, it's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. Hmm. So this life is a test for the hereafter. We are living this life as a test for the hereafter. Yes. And Allah is testing that which of us is good in deeds. So whatever that happens in this world, it's a test for the hereafter. Regarding coming to your question, your main question, that why does Allah allow the unjust Israeli forces hmm. to kill thousands of Palestinians? This life is a test. Allah is testing. Allah wants to test different human beings yes. of different parts of the world. And when Allah is testing, Allah can easily stop this massacre. For Allah to stop the genocide is very easy. Allah just has to say, kun fayakun, yes. we and it is. But then how will he understand? He'll understand, but how will we understand that have we passed the test or not? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in my game. Allah is testing us. And Allah is letting us know how we will face mm. the test. So on the day of judgment, no human being can object to the justice of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows which human being will pass on it. But we don't know. So this, all these incidences are tests. Mm. And when Allah is testing, first we know that the atrocities that has been inflicted on the Palestinians, according to me, almost all, a majority, more than 95%, will surely pass this test with flying colors, mm. the Palestinians. There may be few, a very small minority, a very small percentage, who may be hand in glove with the Israeli, or may be breaking the law of the Quran and Sunnah, but majority, almost all, surely more than 95% of the Palestinians, they are going to pass this test with flying colors. And we can see that. We have got evidence that mothers whose children have been martyred, they say that if Allah gives us more 10 children, we would love them to be martyred in the way of Allah. Mm, yes. Allah. We have children giving testimony. We have women giving testimony. The mothers, the fathers. And we can see the way they are reacting. And because of this, the non-Muslims, when they are seeing that what is making these Palestinians, even after they are being tortured, after they are being massacred, mm. after their family members have been killed, yet they are saying Alhamdulillah. Yet they are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is making thousands of tens of thousands of Muslims to read the Quran that how come these Palestinians even after this genocide they're thanking the Creator mm, yes. and because tens of thousands of non-Muslims read the Quran and when they read the Quran their hearts are opened up. Brother and sisters if you are enjoying today's video then it's a request to you guys please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first. So let's continue watching today's video. Their mind is opened up and they said, what is this book? And Alhamdulillah, in the span of last seven weeks, there are thousands or tens of thousands of non-Muslims who have accepted mm. Islam. Allah Akbar. So you can know that this, what has happened in the last seven weeks 
because of the atrocities, because of the genocide done by the Israeli forces on the Palestinians. And we can see the double standards of the media. The media is defending the mainstream media, yeah. whether it be CNN, whether it be BBC. They have been giving false narratives yeah. that the Palestinian forces, they are killing innocent babies, they are torturing innocent civilians, all these are fabricated news. And once when they expose, many people are losing faith in the mainstream yeah. media, whether it be BBC, whether it be CNN, and they are going to alternative, better, truthful media like Al Jazeera, like Al Arabiya, and you can see the difference. So all this is a plan of Allah yeah. subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's letting the world know. And we can see thousands of people embracing Islam. And we can see the testimony that they are Christians, they are Jews. Many Jews are coming out in open and saying that we condemn the Israeli, they are vanished, yeah. they are not Jews. They are not following the book of, Al of Almighty God. They are against the teachings of Judaism. There are demonstrations of thousands of Jews in America, in UK, and all over the world. Yes. They are condemning Israel. And the testimonies are filled in the social media. Many of the social media accounts are being blocked. They are being tampered with. They are being silenced. Mm -hmm. But they can silence a few hundred, a few thousand, but not millions. So here you can find that because of this war, the unjust war, the atrocities done by Israelis on Palestinians for the last mm -hmm. seven weeks, because of that, the world has come to know. So it was surely a very good bargain yes. that yes, 15,000 people have been killed. But all the 15,000 people, more than 15,000 who have been killed, or maybe many more which are unidentified, maybe mm. in rubbles, all of them, inshallah, will go to Janet Firdos. Subhanallah. All of these innocent people will go to Janet Firdos. So they have passed this test. What we have to see, see to it, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing the mm. human being. He's not only testing the Palestinians, at the same time, he's giving rope yes. for the people are doing atrocities to continue. He is letting, as the Quran says, he is letting the unbelievers go astray, mm. giving them rope to hang themselves. Allah can solve this problem very easily, but he is letting them do the injustice so that he can hold them accountable, yes. so that he can give them hell in the hereafter. And Allah is checking the other non-Muslims, what are they doing? Are they agreeing with this atrocity? Are they supporting this genocide? What's happening in UA? What's happening in UN? So. Here we come to know that Allah is testing everyone, mm. not only the Palestinians and the, and the exactly. Israelis, but even the Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. And we know that the Palestinians and inshallah are going to pass with flying colors. Mm. And the Israeli, if not all, almost all, who are doing injustice, especially the Zionists, the Zionists who are planning all this, they will surely be entering the hellfire in mm. the hereafter. Now, Allah is opening eyes of the non-Muslims. What are they doing? Are they supporting this unjust regime? At the same time, Allah is even testing the Muslims. No, what are we Muslims doing? What are we doing? Are we just sitting and doing nothing? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if any one of the Muslim, the whole Muslim Ummah is like one body. And if one part of the body is in pain, the whole body is in pain. So if one part of the body mm. suffers, any one in the Muslim Ummah suffers, the whole Ummah should stand yes. for it. So what are we doing? The Palestinians, inshallah, almost all, majority of them will pass the flying colors. What are we Muslims doing? Is it this not a test for us also? Mm -hmm. And I've given a talk before on the 13 point action plan by the Muslim Ummah for the Palestinian cause. And the last talk I gave before the Juma, before the Juma Salah in Nigeria, in Abuja, in the National Mosque, it was 15 point action mm -hmm. plan for the Muslim Ummah as far and the Palestinian issue is concerned. Yes. Time will not permit me to speak in detail. I'll just briefly mention about this because the questioner, the first part of the question was why does not why does Allah allow mm -hmm. the Israeli forces, the unjust Israeli forces, to kill thousands of Palestinians? Because Allah is testing yes. them. Brothers and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of Dr. Zati Naik with us, Dr. Zati Naik always gave answers according to Quran and Hadith. So I hope you have watched this video till end. So in today's video, we have watched a video of Dr. Zatir Nai in which our question was asked to him why Allah is not helping the people of Palestine, why he letting Israel bombing on the people of Palestine, why he is not stopping them. I want answers of this question. So in reply, Dr. Zatir Nai told, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have some rules and those rules and those rules are applied on us. If we will follow, then we will be succeed. If we will be not follow them, then we will have trouble of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Dr. Zakir Naik told that this world is a test of every human being. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put troubles on his people to test them that if I put them in trouble, they will be remember me or not. So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing this because he's testing his people because when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love someone, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him into in his test. So this world is also test and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taking test of Palestinian peoples and inshallah in the akhirah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant him them Jannah in the Akhira. So I hope you understand Dr. Zakir Knight answers. If you are satisfied with the answers of Dr. Zakir Knight, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friends and family member so they can get benefit from it. And at the request, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So see you guys in next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.